his first five. We'll go with Holy Kingdom of Fergus. Understood. Fargus is a noble and Fargus, excuse me. That has always valued chivalry. Chivalry. Right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head Chivalry. Back to the like the game. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Like the 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 game whose developers I met at the Game Awards video, which you should watch on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Dimitri looking the way he does right now makes more sense later. What do you mean looking the way he does right now? No, raise affinity with a character in your... Okay, true. Yeah, we... Okay, so I haven't quite announced it, but I was going to announce it once we got to that point, but I'll just say right now, we are doing Blue Lions. So, Dimitri. He seems quite sincere. But I sense darkness lurking beneath. Edelgarn, a refined young woman. But I feel as though she is always evaluating me. And Claude, I could get lost in those eyes forever. I mean, his easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. <sighs> the Emerald so Penguins? Uh, yeah. no. Blue Lines is the only house I haven't done yet. Oof. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, you can see it for the first time, I guess. Dimitri moves his comb over to the other side. Damn. The secret fourth house? Uh, okay. Part one. White clouds. Don't you only get access to that, like, halfway through the story? Because I know there's a fourth, like, there's a fourth path. I know about it. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they... Fourth house isn't the fourth path? Oh, okay, I know that there's like... There's like two paths per house. Like, Blue Lions has two paths, and... The continent of Fodland, said to be protected oh, one house has two paths? Has Fourth house is a DLC, okay. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Okay, that's the Black Beyond Eagles. its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Lester Alliance. Oh, it's not another house? Oh, okay. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these... Separate campaign? Okay, so it's kind of like the future connected to Fire Emblem Three Houses. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Ah, yes. Anime. This is gonna get me sued. Also, uh, Phaeton. Thank you for the follow. Hope there I'm pronouncing is. that correctly. Garrick Mock Monastery. Oh my gosh, that stage from Smash Bros. Nice. Smash Bros is the sequel? Bro! Oh, hello. Made a whole game based off that character for Smash. That's what I'm saying. That's pretty hype. Ray is here. <laughs> F Zero. 
Oh, hey, it's Lady Palutena from Kid Icarus. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? Uh, I guess it did, but we could also freeze the flow of time, so... Literally everyone seeing her makes it's that joke, and I am no different. Eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... You've been here before? I've never spoken of this to you before, but many years ago, I was a knight here. I reported to the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Her VA is Makoto. Oh, okay. So Lady you know, Rhea. The majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive the fans have sort of put years. me off from it. Not so I'm just going to say this right now. Spoke. Avoid the Persona fandom. It is needlessly toxic against people that like Persona 5. Um, they're just toxic about Persona 5 in general. Just completely, completely ignore the fandom. Not worth it. But the game itself, masterpiece. Probably my game of last year. Uh, I'd say Royal was my game of last year. What is your name? No, wait, not last year. It might have been my game of 2020. Game of two years ago. Oh, fuck, that's right. My name is... A fine name indeed. From the Just avoid every mind, fandom. That is a good I idea. Thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. <laughs> Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will Heard desire to things. with you soon. Please there are some things that could be improved in Persona 5, down. but I'd there say, are. generally speaking, like from a JRPG standpoint, amazing game. Like, I, I really, like, the gameplay felt very fluid. Uh, I can't like, it felt... Force back into the it felt great Seros. to play through. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? As a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new Oh, hello. Professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm it did some offensive before. stuff with gender. You can handle things it... from here. Good yeah, luck. it there are some uh watch out for Lady Rhea. Yeah. I don't know what she's thinking. Maybe That's the most I can say. It, it, there was a couple she moments where it does do that. Goal. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a crest scholar and professor at the Officers Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Yeah, Japan's well generally up. bad I'm about a that. A physician, a songstress, and available. Oh. It's nice to meet you. Songstress, you're a physician? <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. I agree, Shad. I 100% agree. Come and pay me a visit. I would love to. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. 
Now then, it seems voiced by Ash Ketchum. Of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers Academy is composed Good night, everybody. of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students <laughs> okay, <I'm back. laughs> from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader I have to basically crawl Prince out of my couch he every time I get out of it. King of Fargus. Uh. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy Emerald Penguins come from Massachusetts. Cringe. Moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Wait, you can Some odd You can marry like Manuela? Kids, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow. But that should get you going. Good luck. Don't mind me. <laughs> have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. You can marry any one of the opposite sex, and a couple of the same. If I can't marry Gatekeeper, we're gonna have a fucking problem. Twenty-one years ago, I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary. The same sex male options are kind of bad. Option singular. Have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received. She's one of the only buy options. I am increasingly concerned we love that. The matter regarding our we love that. Individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea. For now, I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. Where's, like, my romance mechanic with parasocial relationships? We need, like, a JRPG where we can romance, like, an internet person. I feel like that would be very funny. We very much do not need that. Okay, yeah. They just throw, like, Amaranth into Persona 6. What did I miss? Uh, basically, at the start of the game, uh, we're in... We're in the, the place. Forgot about them. Black Eagle spoiler, DLC spoiler? Where? Four gay romance options. Oh, rip. Has a bad track record for with same-sex marriage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard plenty about that. It is very tragic. Why is everybody hot? It should be illegal for so many characters to be attractive in one game. Like, look at that. Adorable. Love it. Oh, 
Imagine how bad all these people would smell. I want you to think about what the hell you just typed in the chat. Of course. Fates was bad. Oh, that's right. The whole gay conversion therapy thing. Let's see, B and Y is the dash. Zoom in and out. Cool. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once yeah, distasteful is definitely what I would use for that. Cool. Did I not accept the quest? May I ask a favor of you? All right, quest. They're given to you. Consult the menu to see the quest. Blah blah blah. Yeah, simple enough. You there? Hello there. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor. Here. Yeah, why are you talking three Frank, words a minute? Had seriously. Else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Screw Rhea. Hey, I wish I could. I mean, uh, what? Is there anything back here? There is. Nothing! I don't think. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Gives affinity. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I'll I'll allow that. All right, mini map. Wow, did you know the mini map is a map? Wow. Can I front seat game? Uh, no. Should wait, there's groups of people? Oh, the it says there's three people. Oh, they're up there, aren't they? Oh, no, okay, they just loaded in. Uh, hi. Can I, can I be Fred? Do you want to be friends? That took a surprising amount of time to load in. <gasps> kitty! Kitty, kitty. I want to pet the cat. I want to, I, I want, I want to pet the cat. I'm stepping in the cat. I'm in the cat. I'm gaming while strapped onto the roof. What the fuck? Uh, Aelgard, what up? Accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. You need to buy the DLC to pet the cat. Cringe. My name is Edelgard. It's not a joke. Oh, that's stupid. I am the princess and heir of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. Yeah, that was pretty bad load. Like it took like a solid few seconds like for everybody to load in. Would you like to know more? Uh, no. Oh no! Wait, you're part of the. I never. I am. I hope you've had a chance to meet him. Oh, we have to learn all about you? Uh, fine. Alright, who the hell are you? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Okay. Do we have to, like, go through all of these in order to, uh, in order to move on? $25 for the DLC? Yeah, I'd say that's an okay price. The heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but... <laughs> actually, you should go through them? Oh, okay. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Neat. 
Ferdinand von Eyre. For Iyer. some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Eyre, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. Same. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. He's the second son of Count Bergley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Four characters and some tough battles, yeah. I guess it really depends on, like, who is, like, playing the DLC. Like, what they consider to be a good value. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Bernadetta looks like... Or not looks like, but she seems like such a, a pure soul. But also, I think that defining ability is pretty decent. Attack plus 5 when not at full HP. I can see that being helpful. A lot of weaknesses, though. Yeah, Fragile Flower. Love that. Kind of like Futaba, honestly. Like, in terms of, like, being a shut-in. That makes it even less sense for Takai. I don't know. Dorothea. Two commoners have joined the Black Eagle House. But Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officer's Academy. And Petra. To the west of Fodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart. Oh, I kind of like that ability. She has a lot of strengths, too. I really like that. If you use Bernadetta right, she's like the strongest unit in the game. Okay. Fire Emblem Starfire. <laughs> oh, that's a good reference. So, I think... Let's see. Petra. Bernadetta. What's his... What's his thing? He's over. The second he's over. Uh, let's see. Avoidance minus 10. He's rem if he comes up to. Ah, uh, that could be a good one. Also, recruit whose personalities you like. True, true. She literally it Alright, I intend to figure this out. Where where is everybody? Let's see, what about you people? Hi, wanna be friends? Okay, no. Uh where where is everyone? Oh hey, you wanna talk? Hello there. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings. No, <laughs> recruit everybody. Folks smile, you know? uh, Gatekeeper, that, the I mean, best character. Vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Cool. You exist. That's pretty rad. Can't go past here? Well, fuck you. I'm standing behind you. Get beamed. Okay. Uh, seems like I can't talk to anyone. Like, I, I don't see... Like, none of the students will talk. How do I get Demetri to be my friend? I don't know. How do I get you to fucking talk to me? Bruh. 
Also, it still says the quest symbol up there. I'm not sure what's up with that. There are more rooms. Oh, those are NPCs. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> See, there we go. Claude! Scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Make sure to recruit Dunban. Oh, of course. Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Sure. Who are you? You beautiful <laughs> man. Have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so. But you not each other, difficult. <laughs> Any of the circles is someone you could talk with. Any circle with a speech bubble is someone... Oh, okay. I'm, like... I'm running on autopilot here, so that's why, like, my brain is no work good. Lorenz. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. Only character. He seems like kind of an ass. Uh, I gotta say that right now. Look at his beautiful egg like head. Egg. He's a fun ass. If you say he so. Comes from a merchant family, but his Those buttons on his shirt are holding off for like dear life. life. Good lord. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and. Nah, actually, that's about it. Ignatz. He's the second son of a He'd man. suck if he was a real person. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. I was a real person once. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably She looks like she could be related to Edelgard purely because she of the hair. Angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know. Lysithia seems like such a precious being. Ignatz is a sweetheart. She's a baby, but don't tell her. Noted. Marianne. Now, this is one I've heard Marianne a lot about. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. I kind of like that ability. Uh, recover up to 20% of max HP at the start of each turn when adjacent to... Oh, cavalry or flying. Glassist and canonist glass cannon. Interesting. All right. So, like, how soon are we even able to recruit anybody? Recruit Marianne or else? Okay, what is up with Marianne? What is up with that? Is it because is it because you're all simping? Are you all simps? I mean, so am I. But like, is that what this is? Are we all simping for Marianne? I mean, I don't blame you. I'm not telling you that you're wrong. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. Best ship in the game? In the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble. I guess. I'm not not simping. Need to meet the requirements for each one. Got it. Hilda is also one that I've heard a lot about. Let's see. Adjacent male allies deal three extra damage. Interesting. Have your entire class die and the school is just like, eh, this is fine. That just sounds like the military. Let's you ship characters by getting higher support levels between them. Oh, that's fun. 
Leone. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to Things don't go good for her if you don't recruit her. Leone is. Just is. I like the fact that she doesn't have weaknesses. That's neat. Hilda is the toughest wall in the game. Okay, it could be nice to have a like a tank-ish recruit. Uh, you know, allies adjacent deals two extra damage and takes two less damage. Eh, I don't see myself recruiting Leone, but I don't know. Things might change. That's so. Let's see. Is there anything going on? 